Hello, Paul Hamilton here. We're going to look at a CSI using Book Creator uh, for iPad Monthly this month. And this is what we're going to try to create today. So this is a thinking routine, um, really powerful stuff in regard to kind of creative thinking aspects and trying to get that deeper level thinking. So what we're going to do is use Book Creator here uh, to create this CSI. So let's get started. I'm just going to go to a, a new page, show, show you how we did this. So we're going to open up our photos. Um, I've already got some uh, uh, photos that I'm going to be working with here of the Eureka Stockade. Now it could be absolutely anything in regard to uh, images of uh, the Civil War. It could be just a, um, any sort of event that you like. And we can do it in a different number of ways. So I'm just going to put it up there for a start. Um, and that can be kind of our stimulus uh, picture, I guess, of what we're trying to do. And the CSI is really, really simple. So let's create some text for the kids. So the kids will be doing this. Let's go with CSI uh, and we'll just move that down. The reason why we love Book Creator, obviously, is it's so easy to use. Um, let's go and what it actually stands for. So we'll go color, symbol and image. So we'll just move CSI up here so we know what we're doing. We'll do color symbol Ill image. We'll just uh, might copy that and just paste that three times. That's another little thing that I think a lot of people don't realize with Book Creator is that we can actually copy and paste um, parts of text and then we can just double tap in there and change that to what we want to do. So this will be symbol and this one will be image. And basically it goes like this. Uh, we allow our students to creatively think of a color that represents that event and maybe the impact that it has. We think of a symbol and we think of an image. Now, in iPad Monthly, you'll see down the side some examples of, of symbols and images that you can actually define with your kids first. And basically, you get your kids to think about a color, what this actual uh, event represents in, in regard to color. Um, and then you think of a symbol and you think of an image. Now, what we want our kids to do is think beyond just the visual of what they see. We want them to think about the higher level thinking, like the impact that it's had um, on the future. It could be beyond this picture. So I think one of the natural things that kids will want to do with the Eureka Stockade here is they'll actually bring in, say, a pen tool and they'll actually choose the color red, for example. Um, let's change it, make it a little bit thicker. And so they'll just do like a color red as a symbol for this event. Now that's great. That's, you know, you could talk about violence and how red can represent blood and violence and stuff. And, and a lot of people died during this event. But I guess we want to think about a little bit beyond that. We want them to think about the actual impact that this event has had um, in regard to unions and, and, and rights of employees and things like that. So symbols, once again, get kids to represent it as a symbol. And then finally, an image. So what I've done here on this first page, if we can actually look at it, um, I've used the color green and I've done an audio recording there. Uh, really, really simple. We know how to put in sounds down the bottom there where you get the kids to justify and explain why they've chosen that color. Now, this is where the CSI um, really excels. Um, it's the kid's justification. Me just looking at it, I have no idea why this student has selected green. I don't know what that symbol is and I don't know what the image is, but it's the justification that really tells our teacher what is the thinking behind the color, the symbol and the image. Um, so really get your kids to articulate what it's all about. Now they could do it with text. I've used audio because I might use this with some younger students. And sometimes by using audio, we can actually get a more accurate understanding of what's happening in their minds um, than actually a written form. So that's called CSI. Really easy to do. Book Creator is the perfect way to do it, but we could use it and explain everything as well if we wanted to. And it's a fantastic thinking routine to get kids to think about um, basically anything that, le that they're learning about at school. Even get them to think about what kind of learner they are. Um, get them to represent the CSI of what kind of learner they are. What are they? What are their qualities? Their good learning qualities. So Paul Hamilton here for iPad Monthly. I hope you found that useful. It's called a CSI. Use Book Creator uh, or Explain Everything. One of those to really get kids thinking and developing higher level thinking skills. Paul Hamilton here, signing off.